Manches war particularly vital. Sie war, sie war, to the Lord my executioner. Sie war, sie war, to the noble Lord, to the noble Lord my executioner. Gentlemen, I am much touched by this reception. Yeah. I can only trust that by strict attention to duty, I shall ensure the continuance of those favors which it will ever be my study to deserve. Yeah. Should I ever be called upon to act professionally, I am happy to think that there will be no difficulty in finding plenty of people whose loss will be a distinct gain to society at large. Yeah. As someday it may happen that a victim must be found, I've got a little list, I've got a little list of society offenders who might well be underground and who never would be missed, who never would be missed. There's the pestilential nuisances who write for autographs, all people who have flabby hands and irritating laughs, all children who are up in dates and floor you with them flat, all people who on shaking hands shake hands with you like that, and all third persons who on spoiling tater dates insist they'd none of them be missed, they'd none of them be missed. He's got him on the list, he's got him on the list, and none of them be missed, tell none of them be missed. Then the idiot who praises with enthusiastic tone, all centuries but this and every country but his own, and the lady from the provinces who dresses like a guy, who doesn't think she dances, but who'd rather like to try, and that singular anomaly, the girl who's never kissed, well, I don't think she'd be missed. I'm sure she'd not be missed. He's got her on the list, he's got her on the list, and I don't think she'll be missed, I'm sure she'll not be missed. And that nice I prior's nuisance who just now is rather rife, the judicial humorist, I've got him on the list. All funny fellows, comic men and clouds of private life, they'd none of them be missed, they'd none of them be missed. And apologetic statesmen of a compromising kind, such as what you may call him, thingamabob, and likewise, well, never mind. And tut, 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 and what's his name? And also, well, you know who, but the task of filling up the blanks I'd rather leave to you. But it really doesn't matter whom you place upon the list, for they'd none of them be missed. They'd none of them be missed. You may put them on the list, you may put them on the list, and they'll none of them be missed, they'll none of them be missed. Katisha. For years I have loved you with a white-hot passion, which is slowly but surely consuming my very vitals. Ah. Ah, shrink not from me. Cat. Katisha, I dare not hope for your love, but I will not live without it, darling. Go to, who knows so well as I that no one ever yet died of a broken heart? You know not what you say. Listen, on a tree by a river, a little tom tit sang willow, tit willow, tit willow. And I said to him, Dickie Bird, why do you sit singing willow, tit willow, tit willow? Is it weakness of intellect, birdie, I cried, or a rather tough worm in your little inside? With a shake of his poor little head, he replied, oh, willow. Tit willow, tit willow. He slept at his chest as he sat on that bough, singing willow, tit willow, tit willow. And a cold perspiration bespangled his brow. Oh, willow, tit willow, tit willow. He sobbed and he sighed, and a gurgle he gave, 
Then he plunged himself into the billowy wave And an echo arose from the suicide's grave Oh, willow, tit willow, tit willow Now I feel just as sure as I'm sure that my name isn't Willow, Tit Willow, Tit Willow. That was blighted affection that made him exclaim, Oh Willow, Tit Willow, Tit Willow. And if you remain callous and obdurate, I shall perish as he did, and you will know why. Though I probably shall not exclaim as I die. Oh, willow, tit willow, tit willow. Oh, I'm a silly little goose. You are. And I'm not beautiful. No. But I have a left shoulder blade that is a miracle of loveliness. People come miles to see it. My right elbow has a fascination few can resist. Allow me. What, after all, is beauty? What? There is beauty in the bell on the floss. There is splendor in the growling of the gale. There is elephant up pouring when the lion is roaring and the tiger is a lashing of his tail. Yes, I like to see a tiger from the Congo or the Niger and especially when a lashing of his tail. Volcanoes have a splendor that is green and earthquakes only terrify the dudes. But to him who's scientific, there is nothing that's terrific in the falling of a flight of thunderbolts. Yes, in spite of all my meekness, if I have a little weakness, it's a passion for a flight of thunderbolts. If that is something very down, very, it's evident, very, our tastes are one. Away we'll go and merrily, merrily, more tardily, tarry till day is done. There is beauty in extreme old age. Do you fancy you are elderly enough? Information I'm requesting on a subject interesting is a maiden all the better when she's tough. True, oh, outside dominion is the general opinion that she lasts a good deal longer when she's tough. Are you old enough to marry, do you think? Won't you wait until you're 80 in the shade? There's a fascination frantic and a ruin that's romantic. Do you think you are sufficiently decayed? To the matter that you mention, I have given some attention and I think I am sufficiently decayed. If that is so seen, dead and down, dead, it's evident the very out they saw one. Away we'll go and merrily, merrily, more tardily, tarry till day is done. Sing dead and down, dead, we'll merrily, merrily, more tardily, tarry till day. If that is so seen, dead and down, dead, it's evident the very out they saw one. Away we'll go and merrily, merrily, more tardily, tarry till day.